Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Nahid Akhtar and in this video, we're going to talk about calculated fields in Google Sheets pivot tables. If you've used pivot tables before, you're probably aware of their analytical powers. A pivot table can summarize your data any way that you like. You can find sums, averages, medians, variance, and a lot more. In fact, here are some of the summarizing functions that are built into pivot tables. There are quite a good number of metrics available, but you'll notice that it's not enough. You might need to summarize your data using other metrics and calculations that are not provided by the pivot table defaults. This is where calculated fields come in. Calculated fields let you summarize your data in pivot tables using your own custom formulae. Let's take an example. I have here a data set on employee sales for the month of April, May, and June. Employees can be from one of three regions, East, West, or Central. Let's create a pivot table to perform some analytics on this data. To create a pivot table based on this data, all you need to do is select your data, click on Insert, Pivot Table, and just to make it easier to match up with our original data, let us choose to display it on the same sheet. If you prefer to create the pivot table on a new sheet, however, you can select the New Sheet option from here. Now I want my pivot table to start from cell G1. So let me select that and OK. And when I click on Create, here's my pivot table at cell G1. Well, just a basic outline of my pivot table. I haven't yet added the rows and columns. As you can see, when I click on a cell of my pivot table, the pivot table editor automatically appears as a sidebar. This pivot table editor is going to help me populate my pivot table with my required rows and fields. So what do I want my pivot table to analyze? Let me look at region-wise sales made by my employees in the month of April. Well, not my employees my fictional employees. Since I want to see region-wise summaries, I can add the regions as rows of my pivot table. So click on the Add button next to Rows and select Region. And that displays each unique region from my data set in the form of rows of my pivot table. Now to see region-wise sales in April, I click on the Add button next to Values and select April. I want to see total sales for each region. In other words, I want the data summarized by sum. So I leave the sum option selected here. And now I get total sales made in the month of April for each region. Now what if I want total sales in the whole quarter? I mean for the months of April, May and June put together. There's no option for such a calculation in our pivot tables default metrics, right? So I'll need to create one myself and I can create that by adding a calculated field. I want each row of my pivot table to display April plus May plus June sales for each region. So I will click on the add button next to values and select the calculated field because it's not just one field but a combination of fields that I want right so I need a calculated field. If it was just April, May or June then I could just select one from here. But since there's nothing to combine all of them together, I'll need to create a calculated field myself. This creates a new column in my pivot table. And since I haven't entered a formula for the calculated field yet, it's showing all zeros. In the description box for this new calculated field, I need to enter the summarizing formula, which is April plus May plus June. Note that I use the column header names in the formula, these column header names, and not any column or cell reference. I didn't use A, B, C, or A2, B, C, or B3, or anything like that. This is something that you should keep in mind when adding formulas to calculated fields. You should always use the column name, and the name should be exactly the same as the name in the original data set, which is this one here. So make sure that the field names that you enter in this formula exactly match the field names in your original data set. If you had typed April over here instead of APR, 
see you end up getting an error so make sure that it is the correct spelling another thing to note is that if your column name has more than one word like say if this was April sales instead of just April then in the calculated field you should put the field name enclosed in single quotes let me change that back now next under summarize by keep the sum option selected you have two options here custom and sum but uh, keep the sum option selected in this case because we want to sum up the values returned by this formula for each region if you look at the pivot table now you can see the region wise total sales for the whole quarter you can go ahead and change the column name at this point if you like like let's say you can say total sales for the quarter and that's it now let me show you one more example let's say I want to know how many employees made sales of more than fifty thousand dollars in the month of April let me create one more calculated field for that so same way sorry not columns it was um, values add calculated field and why do I need a calculated field because I need to use the count if function in this case and there's no option for a count if function in the pivot table defaults right I'll just show it to you if you take a look here see there's count a there's count there's count unique but no count if so I'll need to use a calculated field for this right so here's my new calculated field and over here I'm going to use the formula count if April greater than 50,000 and this time I'm not going to summarize by sum because I want to count individual sales I don't want to sum up all the counts for a region so under summarize by I'm going to select custom for the custom formula and here we have it the count of all sales in April that are more than fifty thousand dollars for each region so in April there were four employees from the central region who made more than fifty thousand dollars in sales so that's it that's all I've got I hope this tutorial on calculated fields was helpful for you if you think it was then please hit the like button and click on subscribe if you want to see more videos like this thank you and have a nice day